hey guys welcome again to another episode today's video will be quite long um usually i try to like keep the points brief and make sure that you know you don't get bored while watching but today's video would need lots and lots of explanations so it's going to be a long video i thought i should put that out there before we begin okay <laughs> yeah um welcome again to my channel my name is esther ahetuame aka estilo jean and i am happy to have you here with me today so one of the questions i've been asked the most is funding for school because in most of my videos i talk about gaining admission getting in and you know people have been motivated to apply but then they keep asking okay i apply and all that what about funding how do we do that schooling in the u.s is expensive how are we supposed to handle that so this video has really been requested for and i just knew that i had to do it okay so let's talk about funding shall we <laughs> Do you know that you can school in the US for free? You can. It's very, very possible. There are even some scholarships that cover your traveling and every other thing. But the most popular scholarships are the ones that cover your tuition. So you will have to handle traveling and all that, but the school is going to cover your tuition. We have many of them here. I talk about graduate school more, and that is because I'm a graduate student. I did my undergraduate study in Nigeria. So honestly, I really do not know a lot about undergraduate schooling. And usually I advise people to do their undergraduate study in Nigeria and do their graduate study here because at this point you are more mature I know I am more mature than I was in my undergrad and I don't know if I would have been able to cope here if I came here to study for my undergrad like it's really hard you know the culture shock the distance and everything like trying to make new friends and all that you need some level of maturity to do that and i'm not really going to go into that too much today because that is not the topic of discussion but um if you are an undergraduate student there are also some funding opportunities for you but first of all you really really need to take your studies seriously okay you need to write the sat exam that exam would give you an edge like if you really get good grades in that exam then you are more open to good scholarship opportunities there are also some schools that are tuition free for um international students as well but your sat scores your essay you know those would actually increase your chances of getting into those schools again google okay if you go online you can find these schools like if you just google um tuition free universities for international students you are going to find them and then you see their requirements their requirements are quite high and that is understandable because you know it's tuition free so they want like the best of the best even though i really don't believe in um measuring intelligence based on um an academic report but that is what they want so if you know that you are planning to do your undergraduate studies here in the u.s and you do not have the money to pay tuition then it's time for you to sit up start studying harder in order to you know get good grades get good grades in your work exam get good grades in your um sat you know just make sure you do that and you'll be open to more opportunities there are also local um scholarship opportunities you can get some scholarship opportunities in nigeria you can also get international scholarship opportunities there are also some associations that um sponsor students um for example there's one called aauw that one is for international female students okay so there are so many like that there is the Fulbright scholarship you know um so 
yeah there are so many opportunities for you you really just need to study hard because many of them are based on your academic achievements now moving on to graduate students first of all i noticed that many people do not know about assistantships Graduate assistantships are a good way to fund your study abroad. You can get an assistantship before coming here. You can also get an assistantship after coming here. Okay, now there are three types of graduate assistantships. We have research assistantship, we have teaching assistantship, and the general graduate assistantship. So um, the research assistantship is for those who are good with research or who are going to help some professors that are currently doing some research so if you're applying for that you need to send you know an email to the professor and say oh i've studied your work and i would like to help you conduct research i have some experience in this now this is where your final year research paper comes in so if you are planning to study abroad for your graduate school make sure you work really hard on your final year research for your undergraduate study okay so you can say oh i actually did this in my final year and um, this is the research i did and i believe that this aligns with what you are currently doing or even if it doesn't align you can say i just wanted to show you my research skills so i'll be able to help you with yours you know just let them know in that email um how good your research skills are like basically just let them know that you have good research skills okay they just want to know that you will be able to help them with their research and all that so make sure you go through their past research and also go through what they are currently working on so you can you know chip in an idea or two you are trying to sell yourself so they need to know that okay this is something you can actually do this is something you have studied so they need to know that you'll be helpful to them a teaching assistantship involves you teaching undergraduate students mostly so since you're a graduate student you'll be teaching a few classes in the undergraduate department so basically that's what you are doing so you are assisting the teachers you are assisting the professors that teach in the school and then the general graduate assistantship is um, for offices for some other departments in school so they would need help with you know organizing different things like they will need help from a graduate student and so that's another graduate assistantship graduate assistantships can cover your tuition it could be a full assistantship a half assistantship or some even get quarter assistantships so a full assistantship is going to pay your tuition in full half is going to pay in half the thing is with a full assistantship you get to work for 20 hours as an international student you are only allowed to work 20 hours in a week so basically that's a full assistantship you work 20 hours and you're not allowed to have any other job if you have a half assistantship then you work 10 hours and you're allowed to work elsewhere for 10 hours so that's how it is um, to apply for the teaching assistantship they usually have a portal online even for the research assistantship they usually have a portal online but it's also good to send an email to you know professors so for the teaching assistantship you apply online you're going to get um, recommendation letters just basically follow the instructions that are there and show that you have some experience in teaching okay you are still going to have to learn some things here when you come there will be probably two weeks training for you to be incorporated into the American teaching system so yeah that is something you can apply for while you are in nigeria something that is going to help you and give you an edge in this um, assistantship application process is your gre like i said not all schools ask for the gre but if you can write it because your scores give you a better chance of getting these opportunities okay it gives you more access to these opportunities so if you have a good gre score then there's a good chance that you will um, 
get an assistantship so that's that there's a very good chance your recommendation letter could also be helpful and your application letter make sure your application letter is very detailed like you are explaining what you can do you explain your experiences and you also need to upload a resume so make sure you work on that and then you can submit this to the school and wait for um a feedback you cannot have too much funding even if you have an assistantship and you have extra money from scholarship somewhere that is also going to be very very helpful to you if you apply for an assistantship before coming here you don't get it don't be discouraged you you will likely get it in your next semester you know so at least you know in your first semester it'll be a good time for you to get to adapt to the school get to know your professors you know at that time you start to know okay this professor is going to need a research assistant next semester so you start talking to him or her you know you start getting to know people and you're telling them oh you need an assistantship you would like to know about opportunities okay so um honestly let me tell you the truth since you're going to be working just 20 hours you cannot fund your education with just that so you either need funding from home or you need to get a scholarship or you need to get an assistantship okay 20 hours here is basically just enough for you to pay your rent and buy groceries and you know do the necessities but if you're hoping to pay your fees with working 20 hours then <laughs> i don't know what you've been hearing but honestly just try and get funding before you come so you don't come here and get stranded but if you are coming here with funding then it will also be nice to you know get an assistantship and relieve your family of having to send your school fee every semester it's also a good step towards maturity at this point you are earning you are able to make your own budget you are able to you know feed yourself and make your financial decisions you start investing you start adulting you know full time and it's a good experience for you so even if you already have funding from home try and also get a job here or an assistantship when you come here it's a learning process and it's really important that you become financially responsible this also goes out to undergraduate students when you come here try to get a job okay just put yourself out there so you can make new friends so you can get accustomed to the working situation here and the working environment you know it's important that you still learn other cultures so that by the time you are going home after your study you know that you've gained some experience outside the classroom so try to blend in and mix in okay get a job and just you know know what it's like to earn your own money all right Hopefully, I've been able to help you um, determine the best kind of funding that would work for you. Like I said, you have the option of assistantship, you have the option of scholarships, you have um, the option of going to a tuition-free university. Okay, this requires intensive research, so don't be lazy in this process. Just put efforts into doing this and you'll be glad you did also try to do really well in your exams your sat for undergraduate students and your gre for graduate students thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section you can also send me a dm on instagram and um if there's something i mentioned here that you want me to um expand on please let me know thank you